Let's talk for a moment about deductive soundness. Take a look at this argument. All whales are mammals. All mammals are warm-blooded. So necessarily, all whales are warm-blooded. Uh, the word so tells us this is an argument, not something else. It also tells us this is the conclusion, and therefore those would be the premises. The word so is a conclusion indicator word. The word necessarily tells us this is a deductive argument, an argument that aims to show the conclusion must be true, not just that it's probably true. And so let's look at this argument. It's certainly a valid deductive argument, isn't it? Because if the premises were to be true, the conclusion would have to be true. The conclusion is certain to be true if the premises are true. If it's true that all whales are mammals, and all mammals are warm-blooded, and there are no exceptions, then certainly it must be so that all whales are warm-blooded. So it's a valid argument. It's a deductive argument. It's a valid deductive argument. Now, the premises of this argument are also true. In addition to this argument being valid, it has all true premises. Because it is true that all whales are mammals, and it is true that all mammals are warm-blooded. So we have an argument that's not only valid, but it has all true premises. And we call this type of argument in logic a deductively sound argument. So two things are required for an argument to be deductively sound. It has to be a valid deductive argument first. And then secondly, the premises all have to be true. Now we saw earlier that an argument could be deductively valid without having true premises. There are lots of arguments that are deductively valid, yet they have false premises. Here's a quick example. Suppose I say all students are billionaires. And then I say, all billionaires are Buddhists. And then I conclude that necessarily all students must be Buddhists. Now, if it's true that all students are billionaires, even though it's not, and if it's true that all billionaires are Buddhists, then it would have to follow, would have to be true, that all students are Buddhists. So that argument is valid, yet its premises are both false, and, and furthermore, its conclusion is false. So it's valid, and yet every statement in it is false. So validity by itself doesn't give us what we really aim at when we reason, which is truth. What we're really aiming at ultimately when we reason is truth. And so when we give a deductive argument, as Mar the Holy Grail, as Marx calls it, the ultimate aim is deductive soundness, namely valid reasoning and all true premises. Now, if an argument is deductively sound and it has all true premises, and in addition the reasoning is valid, if you put those together, the conclusion has to be true. Because if an argument's deductively valid, that means that if the premises are true, the conclusion must be true. And in addition, if the premises all are true, then of course, it follows that the conclusion must be true, as well as the premises. So a deductively sound argument, not only is it valid, not only is it, are its premises all true, but it also has a conclusion that must be true. So deductive soundness is what we ultimately aim at when we engage in deductive reasoning.